moving log five. Um, finally getting around to filming. Um, so the reason why I haven't been actually able to film is because I've have I've had trouble with um, the old house final walkthrough video. Um, when I finally got it uploaded um, to the computer and uploaded, it actually up to, uploaded to YouTube yesterday. So just to you know give you some context as to where we are in time. Anyway, um, a lot has happened since um, I last filmed Moving Vlog 5, so I'm just going to go ahead and, sorry for the shakiness here, um, I'm just going to go ahead and just get right into it, um, just do a brief tour of the house, show you what we've improved on, or what we've, like, I guess, done, you know, simple. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and turn the camera around and I'll show you. So here's my bedroom. Starting to look a lot like a bedroom, actually. Actually, it already does look a lot like a bedroom. There's still, I think, two more boxes of stuff in the garage that are mine. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put them because I'm almost out of room. Um, and then I got these two boxes here. Actually, three boxes. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, the blue bookcase has been fully stocked. And so has this shelf. Um, but, you know, I got everything on here. My little windmill, hourglass, my Vortilex, my phone case, yeah. And then on here, I do have my rotary phone here, but I don't, there's no phone jack in my room, so I can't hook it up. We're going to get a phone jack put in, I think. Um, yeah, and then on the dresser, I got this clock working, so that's nice. Um, and then as you can see up here, I hung up my Pepsi clock and my Gillette smoke detector, as I said I was going to do. And as you can see, both are working as they should. The Gillette, the light is on, and the Pepsi clock is working. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, also, I replaced that rocker switch, finally, that was here. Uh, the old switch, or the, the switch that I replaced was right here. It's just a, you know, a two position or a double switch. You know, I don't really like these switches, so I replaced it with this old Leviton snapper and I love it. It's so satisfying to snap. So my sister's room is basically the same except we got a new carpet for her. Um, also, in my sister's room, I think I she she said she might want me to install a light kit on her ceiling fan in the future, so I will see about that. Just because it's really dark in here, you have to go over to here and turn this light on. And I mean, this lamp lights up the room pretty nicely, but it'd be nicer to have a light kit on the ceiling fan, I guess. So, yeah. And then the master bedroom. I think this is the most... Uh, ready room that we have in here, um, if that even means anything. But anyway, I think last time you saw this, my dad was still setting up the bed, and now we have everything set up basically as it's going to be. Um, and it looks very, very similar to the old house set up. The only difference, I think, is that my dad's dresser was over there in the old house, and my mom's dresser was moved over a little bit, but of course we can't because the closet is here. In the old house, the closet was right there. So they kind of switched places, switched places here. Um, yeah, another bathroom. So yeah, here, let me turn the light on so you can see it a little better. Yeah. And then this box of my dad's stuff right here still I think is going to get unpacked as time goes on. But other than that, yeah. So I'll turn the light off. and. There's the fan, of course. So then in, let's see, the kitchen. The kitchen is the same right now, but actually, believe it or not, we are going to get this kitchen redone. We had a guy come in a few nights ago and talk to us about, like, a planning. He was here for a really long time, actually, uh, like almost like four hours. Um, we were just planning and... We're modeling it after the old kitchen in the old house, so, you know, we're going to knock this wall out 
as you can see, we're going we're gonna to knock this wall out. We're going to move the stove. We're getting a new stove, and we're going to move it over here. And the microwave is also going to be moved over there. But the problem with that is that this microwave vents to outside. So we're going to lose that vent to outside, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, we're going to get under cabinet lighting installed. Right now we have these LED things that my mom put in. And this one works. And this one we had for two days, literally. And it's, oh, it works now. Okay. It wasn't working yesterday, but I guess we got it to work again. But yeah, these aren't very bright. So we're going to get halogen under cabinet lights put in. Well, I mean, of course, in the new cabinets, because these cabinets aren't going to be there, because this wall isn't going to be there. So, yeah, the refrigerator is getting moved to right here. And I'm not sure what we're doing after that, but, you know. The fan is staying, the whisper wind, but we're going to have the... They're going to put the fan and the light on separate switches. Right now, both the fan and the light are on a single switch right here. So you just turn it off, and it turns both the fan and the light off. So it's kind of annoying. The dining room is the same, I think, and the living room is, we've got all the boxes out of here. There's still a few things in these tubs here. I'm not sure what we're doing with these, but yeah, we got the piano set up and everything, and the couch, and over the fireplace, we hung up that painting, um, and then I, we also hung up my grandpa's old clock here, the Westminster chime clock. It's working nicely. So then in the family room, this room I think has changed a lot. We got, as I said we were going to do, we did get new curtains. They're red. Replace the white ones. These red ones are actually a lot nicer. They're, they're a lot better. They cover the windows and they don't let as much sunlight in, so it keeps the room a bit cooler. Um, yeah. And... There were a bunch of boxes over here last time. We've moved them all up into the attic. And yeah, now we just got these this box of towels here and this uh, shelf, which used to be in the upstairs hallway at the old place. I'm not sure what we're doing with this. It might stay here, I don't know. Um, yeah, this room is always a little bit hotter than the rest of the house, and I think I know why. The original part of the house has really, really thick plaster and it's like it's like just say it's about that thick it's like over an inch thick because it was built in 52 this part of the house I think the plaster drywall or whatever this is I think this is drywall the drywall is a lot thinner so yeah um, we're going to be getting a red couch to put right here well, actually, we did get it. It's, it's being delivered. I don't know how long it's going to take them to deliver it. It's taken them a really long time, though. But anyway, yeah. And then the table, the cat's bed. That clicking sound is coming from the light kit on the fan. But um, I think our theme in here is red. So as you can see, we're going to have a red couch, red curtains, red blanket on there, red pillow, red Dell computer, red table, got red on the stained glass shade on the fan. Um, so yeah, in the future I would like to paint this room a different color because this prison gray is, I, I hate prison gray, it's just so depressing. So yeah, now, let's see, now let's go in the basement and see what I did. Um, so yeah, the basement has changed quite a lot, which you'll see, so let's go. So I'm not going to show the display area right now because I'm actually still working on it, and it's actually also, I'm gonna be making a separate video to show, I just, I don't wanna give it away. It's kind of a surprise, so, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, okay. Um, it is a little bit messier right now than it was because I just finished filming a video, so, um, I guess, Let's so go. here it is. As you can see, it is a little bit messier than it normally would be but it is a lot more organized now. The first thing you'll notice here is that I got all the fan motors off the floor, well, most of them, and put them on this shelf that we got from Ikea. Um, very nice shelf. I'm very happy with this. Um, that way I can kind of display them, but they're also out of the way. Um, yeah. 
The only fans I could not put on the shelf that either didn't fit or I, well, I couldn't put the moss or the original on there because both of these fans are very heavy and I'm afraid the shelf would break. The new tone I couldn't put on there because I'm actually giving that one away and same with the Panama, I'm giving that one away as well. So, yeah, but other than that, and I've kind of accidentally organized them. I didn't even mean it. I just put them on there randomly, but I found that <laughs> this top shelf is mostly G event stuff, except for the Tatong spinner. This middle one is white fans, except for the banana fan, which is actually almond, but you know, close enough. And then the bottom two are blades and just other stuff the gazebo and the sack there. And then underneath, of course. So then over here, I've got portable fans over here still. This is an air. I just finished filming a video of that Lakewood, so that's why this is all set up like this. Um, this is kind of my makeshift filming space. Um, then over here, just boxes of stuff that need to be taken care of. And then the portable fans have gotten a bit more uh, tidy over here. I, I do want to get a shelf put up for these. I am planning on putting a shelf up probably along here, just to kind of, you know, so I can display them. And I actually have started right here. Remember my desk right here that used to be over there? We moved it over here. And I'm actually starting. It's, it's a, a lot messier than it normally would be. Once again, I was doing some repair work last night on some stuff. But um, I am starting a bit of a display here. I've got my Western Electric uh, push-button dial telephone, my Lava Simplex Consort Lava Lamp, which currently has nothing in the bottle. I still need to get some replacement wax and master fluid for that. My uh, Lionel uh, Santa Fe NW2 diesel switcher, this old Waterbury uh, Mayflower synchronous mantle clock, and this Bornado, bursted made Bornado desk fan. So. Also, on top of the, the tall shelf here, I have started a display of smoke detector boxes. I've got my Honeywell CD200A, the GE Home Sentry, the Gillette Captain Kelly, a Lifesaver 1200, First Alert SO67D, Sunbeams Maturion, and then that's the Edwards New Bell. It's not a smoke detector, but I thought it fit. The Lifesaver 0908 and the Jameson Code 1 CD1. So, yeah. And all these boxes have their original smoke detectors in them except for the GE Home Sentry box. Um, but yeah, they, all the the rest of them, there are smoke detectors in all those boxes. So, yeah. I also would like to get some little magnetic clips or something or those command hooks and hang some stuff on this, the back of this uh, metal cabinet. We've also got my tall shelves here, and I've also started displaying my Westinghouse Lively Air fans on top of that. Um, i got the two 12-inch ones in the back and the 10-inch one in the front. I don't really like how it looks right now, but I am planning on uh, rearranging them. So then in the tall shelves, these are the tall shelves that used to be in my room at the old house. I've actually got all my fire alarms and smoke detectors. So I've got the top one is just random stuff. These two are fire alarm devices, and then the bottom two are old smoke detectors, residential smoke detectors. Um, now, these smoke detectors are actually not going to be staying here because I'm planning on putting up a display wall on the wall. Uh, but first, we have to paint this wall. We're going to paint this wall and that wall. And we bought some pegboard over here, as you can see. We're going to hang that up on the wall. I think it's going to go from I think it's going to go from where the fluorescent light is all the way to about where uh that home's there is. So maybe like there. And it's going to look really great. Um looking forward to it. So yeah. Go over here and I'm going to just show you actually I first turn off some lights down here. I'm going to show you what I did over here. So over here is looking more and more like a... This is my dad's space. He actually comes down here to watch TV. Um, 
this is all more of my dad's boxes right here. And then this is all kitchen stuff, I think, or just random boxes of other stuff. This space has gotten a lot more boxes put in it. But this is all like decorations and stuff and birthday wrapping paper and other stuff. So, um, I don't know if you remember my last clip. I told you I hung the Sunbeam Centurion smoke detector up here. Well, I have taken that smoke detector down. The screws are still up there. Because over here, I hung up the GE Home Sentry 8202-201. Um, and the reason for that is that there was a box here that had like a light socket type thing on it. It wasn't connected. I thought it was connected, um, but when I took it off, I discovered that this box has constant power. So, what better way to use a box that has constant power than to put up a smoke detector? I originally tried to put up a pull chain light, but the holes on that box are spaced really far apart, so a pull chain light would not work. But the GE Home Sentry works here, and I can test it for you. Pretty loud. Um, with these concrete floors and uh, cinder block walls, it actually really echoes and makes it seem a lot louder than it actually is. So, yeah. So that's that. So I think that's it for this clip. I'm um, going to go ahead and end it here, and uh, anything comes up in the future, I will film. So I'll see you later. Hey, guys. It's, I think, like two weeks later. I actually don't know. I lost track of time, and I haven't filmed in really long. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you. Um... Just everything that's happened in like the past like two weeks or whatever. At least I'm gonna try to because there's a lot that's happened. Um, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like film it all. But anyway, um, yeah. So a couple of things first. Downstairs, the shop area is a complete mess right now um, because there's a lot happening, and I'll get into that later. <laughs> um, also. I'm going to be making a full house tour pretty soon, probably. I want to have it up probably before school starts, at least, which is not until, like, the 28th of August. So, um, yeah, uh, it's getting exciting. Um, turn the camera around, and let's just get right into it. So, start here in the hallway. I don't know if this was in the last video or the last clip, but the little table here. My room, essentially the same, except I've hung some stuff up. This kite, I don't know if you remember, was in my old room. Um, yeah. Uh, these things here, this was my dad's shelf that he made in, like, I don't know, like, seventh grade or something. I'm going to hang this on the wall, like, right here. I'll turn the light on here. Um, and these other pictures and stuff. I think I'm going to hang one of them above my closet door. Um, yeah, I got new curtains because these, the old ones, the blue ones were from my old room. They, uh, did not go down far enough. And because my room goes out to the deck, people could actually, like, come up here and stare at me while I sleep. And that is an irrational fear that I have. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, the dresser's a mess right now, but, yeah. This goes downstairs, this smoke detector. Um, Okay. My sister's room, she got a new dresser, uh, yeah, that's nice, and yeah. <laughs> I hung smoke detectors in my sister's room and my parents' room. My sister's room, I put up my Family Guard 83R, um, it works, I tested it with smoke, yeah. And then my mom and dad's room, mm, basically the same, except... You know, we got that box out there. The one that was right there, we put that in the attic. Um, and the smoke detector I put in their room is the Fire Sentry Micro Profile 0914. Uh, bathroom, nothing, nothing really changed in there. And there's the cat. The kitchen, um... One of the lights here broke, so we've had to just use this thing 
for the past few weeks, it, or for the past few days, it's kind of annoying. But yeah. The dining room, once again, nothing really has changed. And then the living room, we got some more stuff on the desk over here, and we hung that thing up. Uh, we got a Galaxy Box fan out here, I don't know why, mm, and then this table. I got this antique uh, Waterbury clock from the ReStore um, and put it out here. It's a really nice clock. It's all original, the 1940s original cord and everything, still in good condition, so I'm not worried about it causing a fire. And I put my Westinghouse Lively Air on the piano here, and it works. And the addition has changed a lot, actually. The first thing you'll notice is we got a couch. This is our couch that we had ordered, actually, like, as soon as we moved into this house, and it took forever to get here, so I don't know what that was all about. But um, we got new curtains and shades here. Um, these shades are really cool. They go up really slowly, as you can see, but I don't want them to go up right now. And then the new curtains to replace the red ones, because the red ones were just too much, really. And then these curtains are a little bit different over here, but we got the same shade. Um, yeah, we, let's see, got this shelf from the ReStore, um, and we hung pictures and stuff up, as you can see, so these are the other boxes that have to go up in the attic there, uh, this, this, we kind of angled this chair out here, and we got more shades for these windows, they're the same exact kind as that. And we got this big circular thing and hung it above the fireplace. Not sure what that is exactly, but you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's basically everything we've done in here. Um, so yeah, I love this shelf here. Okay. Now I'm going to go downstairs and... I'll just show you the shop currently. It's a mess. Actually, I can show you the rest of the basement, too. First of all, my mom got this little glass thing to put on this uh, light here, make it look a little nicer. And you're wondering where those red curtains from the addition went. Well, they're right here. Um, kind of hung them up here, kind of to like divide the shop from the rest of the basement. And it looks pretty uh, pretty nice, I guess. Um, so in the shop, I've not. I don't think I'm gonna put show the display uh, quite yet. But yeah, <laughs> it's just really a mess right now. Um, the shelves shelves that I had here, the metal shelves, I got taken away from me uh, because we actually wanted to use them for something else. And I'm getting a bigger shelf actually. Um, one of those heavy-duty industrial shelves that's taller and, yeah. Um, let me turn the light on here. There. Uh, okay, boxes everywhere. I'm going to clean it. This is just filled with glassware for ceiling fans. Um, and then these, I don't know what I'm going to do with those. But, uh, yeah. The desk is also a mess right now. Um... <laughs> I'm in the middle of like 10 different projects right now, so uh, kind of, you know, getting everything straightened out. Uh, but I did find more stuff in the garage. This box filled with stuff. Um, more stuff in there. And then the portable fans are still over here. Um, when I get my big industrial shelf, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be able to put those on that shelf. Uh, yeah. The smoke detector cabinet, I have some of them out here because I was like messing with them, I don't know exactly what. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, the uh, air conditioning is running right now and the dehumidifier is also running, so. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. And the lights. Oh, um, that metal shelf is right over here now. It's, my dad's using it for his paint stuff. Um, so, yeah. And 
And this area is cleaned up entirely. Well, almost entirely, except for that box. But there's no more boxes here. Um, but yeah, this shelf was left by the previous owners. My dad's got all his records on it and everything. Um, you know, really nice. So this space, we're not quite sure what we're doing with yet. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else to, to uh, say. These are the filing cabinets from the old attic room at the old house. And then this cabinet, this big one here, let me turn on the light here so you can see. This big one here was my dad got from his work for free, actually. Um, so, yeah. A lot's been going on. Um, this area hasn't changed much, but we do have some stuff on the TV shelf here. We got this table for some reason. Um, yeah. So I think I'm going to wrap up moving log five here. Um, it's been a lot of work and we're still, you know, working. So, yeah. Uh, I guess I, there's not much more I can say other than thank you for watching and more to come.